हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पियड जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव सी प्लस टू टू दावर ऑफ फोर इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटीन एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ सी सो हियर यू रिमेंबर वन थिंग इज दैट आवर गिवन इक्वेन इज फोर्थ ऑर्डर इक्वेन सो इट्स मीन्स दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड ऑल द फोर्थ रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वेन ओके सो यू नॉट टू फाइंड दिस फोर रूट सो द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज here uh, first uh, we uh, rewrite this equation as in this form so we break this exponent and we write it as c plus 2 whole square and its whole square and we write this 16 as 4 square so after this step here we need to move this 4 square in the left hand side and we obtain c plus 2 whole square and its whole square so this 4 square is written as minus 4 square and this is equals to 0 so in the next step uh, here we need to apply the nice algebraic formula you know that uh, if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b So here you see that uh, c plus two whole square be the value of our a and this four be the value of our b. So here we need to substitute these two values on the right hand side and we get the output of this term here. So that uh, we write the above equation as this is c plus. Here you have first a minus b. The value of a is c plus two whole square and minus b. The value of b is four into A plus B again. So again, the value of A is C plus two square. The value of B is four, and this whole equals to zero. So now in the next step, uh, here we need to convert this equation into the two cases. So that our first case is we take C plus two whole square minus four equals to zero, and the second case is C plus two whole square and plus four equals to zero. So here we call this is our equation number one, and we call this is our equation number two. So now uh, here, in order to find the fourth roots of the given equation, we need to solve these two equations. So now first we focus on uh, equation number one. So that from equation number one we have this is as uh, c plus two whole square, and we write this four as uh, minus two square equals to zero. So here again we use this nice formula. So according to this formula, we uh, write this equation as in this form. So here we have a plus b. So a is c plus two and b is uh, minus two. This is a minus b into a plus b formula. So we have a is c plus two and b is two and this whole equals to zero. So you see that this minus two and plus two are cancelled by each other, and here we get only c into here. You have two plus two becomes four, and this whole equation equals to zero. So in the next step, here we just convert this uh, equation again into the two cases. So first we write the c equals to zero, and here we write the c plus four equals to zero. So this is the first rule. Of the given equation, so here when we move this four to the right hand side, then you get c is equals to minus four. This is the second root of the given equation. It means that we will uh, just find these two roots of the given equation. So now, in order to find the other roots, we need to focus on equation number two. This is equation number two, and now we copy down this equation number two here. So from equation number two. We have c plus two whole square plus four equals to zero. So here we use another algebraic formula. You know that if we have a plus b whole square, it is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square. So now we can apply this nice algebraic formula to the above equation. So that our above equation is written as this here. Our a is c. It will become the c square plus two times of a is c, and b is two plus b square. So b is two square, and plus four equals to zero. And now in the next step, we need more simplifications here, and we again rewrite this as c square plus this is two times of two becomes four into c. 
and plus this is 2 square equals to 4 and plus 4 equals to 0. So we write this uh, equation as c square plus 4c and plus 4 plus 4 becomes 8 and this is equals to 0. So you see here this equation will become quadratic in c variable. So now we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital A is equals to 1, capital B is equals to C and cap sorry capital B equals to 4 and capital C equals to 8. So this is the coefficients of the above equation and now we use the quadratic formula. So you know about the quadratic formula it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac and it is divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now in the next step uh, here we need to substitute the values of a, b and c here and it will be written as c equals minus b the value of b is 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also 1. So further uh, in the next step we have uh, c is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus Square root of 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 times of 8 becomes 32 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we write it as c equals minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 32 equals to minus 16 and it is divided by 2. So here we can just break this uh, radical sign and we can apply this radical on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of 16 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So from here we have c equals minus 4 plus minus we know that the square root of 16 equals to 4 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota. And here we can just break this fraction and we write these two separately on both of these terms. And now you see here this is are cancelled by each other. 2 times of 2 is 4. 2 times of 2 is also 4. So we have c equals minus 2 plus minus 2 iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation which we get from equation number 2. So finally we have the two roots, uh, uh, we have the four roots of the given equation are these are the two roots and the other two roots are c equals to 0 and c equals to minus 4. So these are the total four roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.